Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. Another couple weeks of doors. <laughs> That's right. The never-ending door venture continues. So they're coming along pretty well. Uh, we're actually pretty happy with, with how everything is coming. Um, you'll notice that uh, we're finishing up a lot of the the covers that we've placed over the uh, sort of the door attachment gaps. Um, so that allows us to seal the doors properly against the McMaster seals that we're using. Um, this is something that's a little different that we have to do because of the McMa ah, McMaster seals and is not required for the uh, standard seals. So log it up as extra work because we're doing a modification. Um, we did get the fuel tanks, uh, the extended range tanks back from our welder. And uh, as he had uh, indicated was a risk, uh, the, um, the pro seal holding the fuel cap flanges onto them uh, totally got smoked by the heat of the welding. So we're trying, we've tried a couple of times to add extra pro seal um, in there. And uh, you'll notice by the end of this video that we've effectively given up and we talked to the welder and he suggested just cut an access panel in the bottom and he can weld that shut and it'll look perfect and no big deal. And if we can cut that access panel, then we can uh, remove that flange, clean off all of the old pro seal, uh, repro seal it, um, and then hand them back to him and he will weld the uh, hole or the access panel shut. The access panel is gonna be on the backside so the heat should not propagate all the way to the pro seal um, that's, and smoke it again. So, <laughs> so we should be good there. Um, you'll notice that uh, that was a, a chunk of what we worked on and then also back on the doors. Um, you'll notice, uh, you should check out our short that we did on the McMaster seals. We go into a good bit more detail on how that McMaster seal um, works out. Uh, it's really actually not that bad. This is a little bit more work as, as we've mentioned, but uh, I really like how it's coming out. Um, the other thing that I notice when I look at these videos is I'm really happy with how those doors fit. Look at how smooth that is. <laughs> when the door is shut, it's like really smooth down the uh, fuselage. So pretty happy with that. Um, and uh, we're the McMaster seals at this point are sealed, are, are, uh, the gap has been formed with them. Um, if you check out the, that short video, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a gap, gap that you create that you have to add the seals to and add some flux mixture to get them to, to create the proper um, size and uh, you know material for the, the seal to grab onto. Uh, pretty easy, uh, just a little bit of work. Uh, and uh, we're progressing on to the left side. Now, the left side, uh, the overall canopy gap to the door uh, is almost done. There's a little bit left to get done. Um, we decided to get the, before messing with that gap any further, we wanted to get the um, locks uh, done on the left side. Um, we did that on the right side, and it came out a little tight. Uh, so we're doing it on the left side and, you know, being a little more careful about how thick, you know, how thick that is and where, where things fit and things like that. Um, we have uh, adjusted the right side to, to, to fix the tightness, but uh, we figure we'd save ourselves a little bit of time by doing it the first time around on the left side. Um, so this is, uh, it doesn't feel like a ton of progress um, these last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I, I think we need to, to maybe spend a little more time on this. We've been sort of struggling to get excited about doing <laughs> fiberglass doors and sort of finicky fit stuff. Um, but we've got a good schedule coming up for the next uh, week, and we hope to get this hopefully completed in the next week. Uh, we're going to have to work on struts coming up, and um, we're going to have to uh, re seal those flanges that's uh this is probably going to be tonight actually and um then we should be good to go put the seal, the mcmaster seals on the left side get the struts done and then hopefully those doors are sort of done at that point uh, which will be pretty cool then we can continue on to more of the canopy top um we're starting to look at uh paint colors for the inside of the canopy uh, we're looking at Zolotone, which does a really nice sort of thicker speckled paint, which helps um, with imperfections in the fiberglass. Uh, one of the things I'm trying to avoid is spending weeks 
doing <laughs> fiberglass uh, cleanup in there, right, to make it perfectly smooth. So Zolotone is what we're going to be using for that. More to come on that. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch up with you guys soon.